going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about how narcissists love to destroy friendships narcissists will quickly come in between two close friends or associates just so they can be a part of it if the narcissist does not feel like they're being included and being accepted as equal they will quickly find a way to try to sabotage their friendship Narcissists hate to see a good thing going if they can't feel the love and get the attention that they feel like they're entitled to. So they'll ruin it. And I've had this happen to me personally. It happened a while back where a narcissist came in between a really close friendship. A friendship that had a lot of history behind it. And the narcissist only known my friend for a very long for a very short period of time however they try to do their best by pleasing them and gifting them with things and spending a lot of time with them which took away from what we'd normally do well it didn't make me feel a type of way because i pay attention to a lot of things and the narcissists they they realized once i figured out how they were i just decided to exclude myself from the trio and not really be involved with them. And on top of that, when a narcissist notice that you don't want to be bothered with them, they know that you know that there's something very sinister about them. And that's probably why you're staying away. So what they'll do next is probably try to warn a friend that they should watch you. So they call themselves acting like they are, you know, a savior and you know, I came along to rescue you from this person that you, you know, that you probably don't have any business being that close with because I noticed something about them. You know, they do evil things like that to break up friendships, to separate people and to become the hero in your friend's eyes. And so that kind of that that kind of what happened. And I just let it be what it was because I, I called it before it even happened. I knew that what was going to happen. And even other people, other people noticed it who already knew the history behind me and my friend and how close we had been for so long. So narcissists, they love to ruin friendships and relationships. And there's a reason for all that. The reason why this happens is because the narcissist is jealous and they want to feel included by you. They want to be accepted by you. And they know that you see something in them that could be a danger to the friendship. So you step away from that. You go in the other direction. Or if you are spending time with your friend, you would rather not spend time with your friend and the narc. And trust me, the narcissists, they know all this. They already know how you feel. So what they'll try to do is break you apart. And once they break you apart, they get closer to the friend. Again, warn the friend about you. And pretend like they try to act like you to the friend. Because they paid enough attention to you to mimic you, to pick up on your ways, your personality. And then they try to go off and pretend to be you to the friend. So if the friendship comes to an end, the narcissist will start to act like you to the friend. So that they won't really feel the loss of what they had with you. I went through that. I really went through that. And that person came back and we chopped it up and talked about everything and all that but once you get so attached to this narcissism once the narcissists attach themselves on to you they will start to get inside your mind and make you think that you supposed to be friends like you owe them that it's like they're holding something over your head and they constantly remind you of why you should stay away from the person who you've known way longer than you knew them and then they try to convince people so much. This is a dead giveaway with narcissists breaking up friendships. They try to convince people that they are good. They have good intentions. Anyone who has to over-explain themselves 
always have something to prove clearly has a hidden agenda to kill, steal, and destroy. Because that's normally what it comes to. They just take their time doing it because they don't want to come off as being unhinged a little bit too soon. But they are. It's just going to be a matter of time before they approach the friend who removed themselves and question them about, you know, what's your thing like? They're going to start to question them about stuff. Take it back to the other friend and turn it into a whole lot of drama and mess. And they will add on a lot of lies. Lastly, the narcissist's goal, again, is to destroy. That's the last thing they plan to do, is to destroy a good thing. So now they're trying to get inside of your friend's head and convince them that they should leave you alone because you're a horrible person. And every plan that they have against you is what they'll try to tell someone else you are planning to do, if that makes sense. The narcissist is very jealous of what they've seen in the beginning. So they they make them wait, they make their way in between that. They come in between it. And then they divide and conquer. You know, they steal the person away from you. Not literally stealing someone, because you can't steal a person away from anybody. But in their mind, that's the goal. That's their hidden agenda is to steal someone away and take control of the situation on top of that they ended with destroying it and that's how it normally happens in the end narcissists are known to destroy relationships they're very calculated and they set their mind on the goal which is taking control and being seen as they're gonna be seen as the person who completely remove themselves away from it or they want to be seen as the person who they destroyed and in my situation they did not destroy me i was strong enough to walk away from something that i did not want to walk away from but i had to because my my good friend of so many years just didn't see it my way it's like it never dawned on them that this person is no good they have a lot with them in Nothing good will come out of you being in a friendship with them. You should cut them off. They told me so many things. We shared stories about this person. And it was just like they continued to deal with them. And to the point where they started to look at me as, you know, you're holding a grudge against someone. You're, you know, like you should stop being that way and give it a chance. And I want things to be the way it was. And I just never really felt that. I never really felt that in my spirit that this person was a genuine friend to either of us. And I did make the right decision by stepping away from that, you know. And even though it was hard to lose my friend, who, you know, we'd known each other a very long time, it was necessary, you know. So a lot of times things are going to be hard to deal with and cut off when dealing with the narcissist when they come in the middle of it, but it's going to be very necessary.